Turning to Decision 2012 tonight, there's a crowded race for the 5th District Congressional seat. It is, in fact, crowded with seven Republicans running for the Congressional seat left open by Dan Burton's retirement. The newly drawn 5th District, mainly made up of Hamilton, Madison, Tipton, and Grant counties, portions of Marion, Boone, Howard, and Blackford counties also thrown in. That large Republican field is made up of Jason Anderson, Susan Brooks, John Luger, John McGough, David McIntosh, William Salen, and Wayne Siebold. Eyewitness News political reporter Kevin Rader has spoken with several of the candidates, and today he went ahead with one. That's right, as Wayne Siebold rolled through town. 5th District Congressional Candidate Wayne Siebold's campaign's on a roll, literally. You know, all cities could use more street money. <laughs> As a mayor, I can tell you that. He is rollerblading his way through the 5th District, 35 cities over the next seven days, hitting all the coffee shops and small shops he could find in Broad Ripple Thursday. I think it's important to know, again, what's going on and what's on people's minds. Siebold skated in the 88 Olympics in pairs with his sister, and they placed 10th. He's hoping to fare a little bit better this time around. Hey, I'm Wayne Siebold. I'm running for Congress in the 5th District. Right. Just out rollerblading the neighborhoods, trying to meet people. Right. Give you some information. Thank you. Siebold believes if you want to represent a district, you really have to know the district. One out of every five pork chops you eat, we had something to do with. Another Republican candidate was in Hamilton County listening to what is going on in the world of agriculture at JBS United in Sheridan. Today on the campaign trail, I'm interested in what are, is it that you're looking for from federal government to get out of your way and to help you create jobs. We're mandated, mandating 40% of our crop ethanol. That's, a, you know, to the detriment, as far as I'm concerned, to the food industry. Susan Brooks was listening to the problems agriculture has with federal corn mandates for ethanol. On the other hand, candidate David McIntosh is going Hollywood. We served together back when his hair was dark and my hair was present. Actor and former United States Senator Fred Thompson visited Wednesday night to help McIntosh raise money. This country is at a tipping point, and we need strong, conservative, proven leadership like never before, and that's David McIntosh. So in their own way, all these GOP candidates are... Getting fit in the fifth. <laughs> getting fit for nomination. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And two Democratic candidates also facing off in the May primary for the 5th District. They are Tony Long and Scott Reske. Kevin has spoken with several of the 5th District candidates. You can see those interviews and read all about the candidates on our election guide, which is on WTHR.com. And don't forget, we'll be here for you on election night. Our coverage will begin with Eyewitness News at 5 with any problems at the polls. At 6 o'clock, the polls will close and we will see the first returns come in. At 7.30, we will have our election night special. We'll take you live to the campaigns and bring you the latest election results. At 8 o'clock, we go live on WTHR.com. We will also have live analysis with our Indiana insiders, and we'll take your Facebook questions. At 11 o'clock,